r slash ask reddit what used to be normal in the past but f fucked up now smoking wherever you liked as a child i remember my mum and dad smoking on the plane when we went on holidays that seems crazy to me now people smoked almost everywhere hospitals restaurants offices grocery stores you could not get away from the smoke and smell indoors unless no one in your family smoked and maybe in churches i do not remember anyone smoking in church my dad says he remembers his pediatrician in the early 60s will be smoking while examining him he says during his childhood teenage years most public buildings would have this permanent haze of lingering sick smoke hanging around and it wasn't until the 2000s that the law firm he worked for started making people go outside to smoke. I worked there summer of 2002, and the boss would always have a cigar going, puffing away up and down the halls. Using radioactive isotopes and paints for glow in the dark things, also asbestos. While we still use tritium for glow in the dark night sights and keychain vials, but the radiation doesn't escape the vials so it's pretty safe. Even if it did it's so weak to only be a problem if you eat it. Precious tritium is the fuel that makes this project go. Having kids with your family to keep your bloodline pure. The McPoyle bloodline, clean and pure as snow for over 1000 years. It's not about tainting the bloodline, it's about conquest. Renting VHS videos and getting charged $3 every day that year late from Blockbuster Video. The charge would show up 5 years later when you apply for a new card if you moved lol. This is primarily why they got destroyed so quickly and thoroughly by Netflix IMHO. Well yes, but I think convenience was king for Netflix. Giving kids cocaine for a cold. What a time to be alive. What a time to have a cold. Babies weren't allowed to have anesthesia because people though they couldn't feel pain. Never understood this. Babies make it really ducking clear that they are feeling pain. Literally no attempt to hide their discomfort. Did they think it was a coincidence that they screamed at the top of their lungs when the doctor began using a scalpel? Well he's crying when I'm not cutting him and he's crying when I am cutting. Guess he's legally a plant. Answering the phone when you don't know who is calling. I picked up the other day, it was the IRS, luckily they called me just in time as they were entering the federal courthouse as I was about to be indicted, to my good fortune, I was able to pay them off, disaster averted, edit and disclaimer, I didn't know I needed to do this, but apparently I need to clarify myself, this was a joke, please people, do not ever send money to someone you don't know under any circumstance, if you owe someone or some entity money, you will know about it. In iTunes gift cards, I assume. Lead paint. I'm working as a painter this summer, lead jobs are the ducking worst. The actual paint actually holds up surprising well and most homeowners probably don't care, but home prep on a lead house is a ducking drag. Edit. Yes I know lead paint is better than latex water paint. I'm specifically referring to the fact that for lead jobs you have to wear respirators. Hazmat suits W gloves and I pro. Lay down plastic all along the house and tape the plastic to the wall. Sponge down where you're scraping off peeling paint. To prevent lead particles from flying into the air. And more. Lead is a beach. Years ago my grandmother's best friend was getting her house painted and kept complaining ever since they took the lead out of paint it all looks so ugly her painter finally appeased her by taking a small can of aluminium powder and mixing it into her paint and telling her it was lead and she was so pleased with it till the day she died. Posing for pictures with your recently deceased relatives. You know what happens if you don't eat your vegetables, Timmy? Why don't you ask your little sister? But she. Exactly. Oh my gosh. Thank you for the link. This was a thrilling read. Watching executions for fun. You can still do that on the internet. Can't you still sew it in places with the death penalty? We don't have it in my country try but on TV from the USA I've seen people watch executions. Anyway, just because you can do it doesn't stop it from being ducked up to do it for fun. Stoning people to death. The Middle East has entered the chat. Africa has entered the chat. Airline passengers used to dress up for routine flights because travel by air was considered fashionable. If you watch old TV and movies, people used to get semi-dressed up just to eat dinner at home. 
I think it was Naked Gun when Leslie Nielsen says let me slip into something more comfortable and it's another suit. Kids dying from ducking mumps and polio because you couldn't vaccinate your children. Well, hold my anti-vax lunacy. Wait a sec. Being a fan of Bill Cosby. Ouch, I still have to rustle. My brother, whom I slept with on my iPhone. I'm sorry, I know he was a rapist, but I will still laugh at dad is great. He gave us chocolate cake. Emo it's okay to still laugh at all his old jokes. It just ruins liking him and his image as America's dad. Dumping shit in the streets. Check ancient Roman disease ridden London. And modern San Francisco. And Portland. Letting young kids stay outside playing for hours until the street lights come on without knowing where they are. It's not really effed up but it's def not normal now. I moved to Alaska around 2 stroke 3 RD grade. During one of the first weeks up here I went to go join up with the other military kids because they know friendship is passing and don't care if you're new. Well my parents told me to come home when the sun went down. Next morning I came home to confuse parents who thought I simply skipped dinner and went to bed. And I was equally confused as to why there was breakfast made and not dinner. I lived at featuring rich as a preschooler slash kindergartener and had whopping insomnia because it never got dark in the summer. Owning people. There are more slaves in the world today than ever before. Mostly children and sex slaves instead of farm workers. There are a lot more people. Percentages are a better representation of the trend. Ducking 13 years olds as a 40 year old. A book about it, saying how much she wanted it and how much she loved them, and still defends it to this day. Yo, Lewis Carroll had a thing with a 13 year old, who was the base of Alice from Alice in Wonderland. Alice was 11, but it's somewhat unlikely that he was sexually interested in her. That's just something drummed up to generate controversy a century after his death. A hundred years from now and someone will publish a claim that Mr. Rogers was a pedo. Drinking and driving. This is a good one. I remember my dad telling me how he got pulled over after driving to Jersey, where you could buy booze at 18. And coming back, the cop told him to pour the bottle right out on the street and drive straight home. Today our attitudes have changed. Same. My family has told me stories of growing up in a small town and the cops would drive behind them to make sure they made it home okay. Abusing the mentally ill. I mean beating the autism out is still common practice in many places. And those quack medicine cleanses that crazy people will give their kids which sloughs off part of their bowel mucosa. Throwing people into volcanoes while chanting. This was a real concern for me as a child. That and quicksand. That shit was everywhere. Marrying a young girl when you are king or head of a church. Henry VIII was 49 when he married his fifth wife who was 16 or 17. I feel so bad for Henry's wives, especially the later ones, open bracket, maybe not a of cleave so much, since he annulled the marriage and declared her to be his sister almost immediately, and she had a pretty good life after that, if I recall correctly she was friends with Queen Elizabeth. Marital rape, it used to be that the woman's vagina must be available whenever the husband pleases. Hey now, that's been illegal in Ireland for almost 17 whole years now. And in North Carolina for, like, maybe 5 or 6, years. My mom often tell my sister and I how, when she was a young, 13 to 15, she would go to and from school using public buses, and it wasn't unusual for her and other girls her age to be harassed by older men, like they would take their dongs out and try to touch them with it, or try to touch their intimate parts and shit like that. Luckily this isn't usual nowadays, it still happens, but so little that is very rare to hear about it. What's common now it's cat calling, but luckily, as many times I've been cat called, only once did a man try to actually touch me without my consent, unlike my mother's time. Edit, a word. Um, that is still a massive issue in Japan. There is a whole campaign in Japan to try and fight sexual abuse on public transportation. WTF. Where and when was this? Using Internet Explorer as your default browser. People in the olden days be like, Hey, let's just fry this man inside a metal ball in front of children Lomeo. 
This was one of the more shocking realizations I had from reading Better Angels. In all of human history, it's only a very, very recent thing that watching a stranger die in horrifying ways is considered anything but great entertainment. Bloodletting. Lindsay Lohan. Using asbestos. I worked at an old factory in Toronto years ago. In the stairwell they had these signs on the exposed pipes that said asbestos free. This company was famous for holding long, seemingly mindless boring meetings, followed by a Q&A session. For shits and giggles I asked, with a straight face, who do I talk to about getting some of this free asbestos? Burning women on the stake for thinking that they were witches. Edit. Men stake not rug. Can't blame M if she weighs as much as a duck. Murdering criminals in gladiatoral combat. Ah those were the days. Marrying and ducking your 15 year old cousin. Freak shows. I dunno. A lot of reality TV could be passed as a slightly subtle a freak show. It's still kinda ducked. But it's also still normalized to some degree. It just went from physical to mental health issues. We now watch TV shows about people with clear mental health issues acting like fools in a house together. A lot of disease treatment and general healthcare was brutal. Mercury, lead, cocaine, and methamphetamine all used to be common medications. Removing whole limbs just because we didn't have the means to deal with infections. Beating abusing your children. Still happens a shit ton. It. People confusing things considered ducked up now with things that don't exist anymore. AOL. Not buckling in your kids in the car. My sister and I spent 12 hour road trips playing and sleeping on the floor of our minivan with the chairs taken out. Now if you don't have your kid properly buckled into their space rocket seat, it's neglectful. I know this isn't exactly the worst thing but jello mold salads. Lime jello. Present in almost all of them. Mixed with mayonnaise and literally anything. They put olives and ducking mayo jello. What in the actual duck was the 50s? Blackface. In the 90s my music teacher showed us Fred Astaire and other prominent actors performing in blackface in class. Try that shiz now. Describing things you didn't like as that's gay. Just showing up at someone's house. Early 90s. Happened all the time. Now. Don't do it. Open bracket. I think I approve of this culture shift. BTW. Mummy unwrapping during the Victorian era. Good morning guys today we are doing a mummy unboxing challenge. Public executions. Whoa. You made it to the end. You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.